Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. In my last class, we have discussed about the basics of the EDTO flight. EDTO flight are those flight which are operated beyond the threshold time of 60 minutes for twin engine aircraft, 90 minutes for those aircraft which are registered under non schedule operators having an aeroplane with sitting capacity of 19 or less and 120 minutes for those aircraft which has got more than two engines. Considered with one engine failure under ISA condition and in still air. Whenever the aircraft suffers an engine failure for planning purposes, the operator has to give a speed schedule. This speed schedule is used for the planning purposes and uh, in the event of the engine, one engine failure, the aircraft will have to be flown with a thrust rating of MCT with this speed schedule. Normally, the speed schedule may be expressed in terms of Mach number or IAS or the CAS or a combination of Mach number and the CAS or the IAS. This speed schedule may be chosen by the operator it may be the maximum Mach number or any other speed. This depends upon the area at which the operator needs to operate. Apart from the one engine failure, there are three critical emergencies which are considered for the planning purposes. The first one being the one engine failure, the aircraft having departed from a particular airport is will climb to the normal cruising altitude under all normal conditions and it will be considered that at the particular point, critical point, the aircraft has suffered one engine failure. From this point onward, the aircraft will have to descend with the plan speed schedule that may be VMO, MMO or any other speed which is decided by the operator. And the fly for 90 minutes or 120 minutes or any other maximum diversion time and the aircraft is considered to land at the suitable alternate aerodrome. The second emergency which is considered is the pressurization failure for which the aircraft is considered taken off from one particular airport, climb to the normal cruising altitude and at the critical point it is assumed that the aircraft suffers with pressurization failure. The aircraft will carry out an emergency descent with a VMO MMO, come down to flight level 100 where there are no significant obstacles and where a significant obstacle exists then the aircraft will level out at Mora, fly with LRC speed for 90 minutes or 120 minutes or any other approved maximum time of a diversion and land at the airport. And the third consideration is the aircraft having both pressurization as well as the engine failure for which the aircraft is taken off from a particular airport, climb to the normal cruising altitude and at the critical point the aircraft it is assumed that aircraft has lost one engine and the simultaneously has lost the pressurization also. In this case the aircraft will again carry out the emergency descent to fly level 100 or MORA whichever is higher and then fly at that particular level with the planned speed schedule either this may be VMO, MMO or any other speed which is specified by the operator to the regulators fly for 90 minutes of maximum diversion time or 120 minutes of maximum diversion time or any other approved maximum diversion time and the aircraft lands at the suitable alternate. So this particular time of 60 minutes, 90 minutes or 120 minutes or any other speed which is specified by the operator to the regulator needs to be converted into the distance using the planned speed in order to plan the particular route. Some of the example of these distances which can travel in 60, 90 or 120 minutes are given for different types of aircraft. I have taken the example for Airbus. 232 with a reference weight. So whenever the engine failure is assumed or the emergency situation is assumed, a particular weight needs to be given. Okay, with this weight, the aircraft will determine the maximum diversion distance. Normally, the operator gives the worst possible 
weight that is highest of the weight normally the weight at the top of climb so for airbus a320271 with a reference weight of 95 tons the aircraft will be able to travel a distance of 408 minutes with 60 minutes and uh, a distance of 601 for a uh, within 90 minutes similarly for a321 251 with a reference weight of 95 tons the aircraft will be able to travel 396 nautical miles 582 nautical miles in 90 minutes and uh, in 120 minutes the aircraft will travel 768 so these distances will be used to plan the particular route so let us assume a route which is from uh, nairobi to singapore may not be actual uh, route this is for demonstration purposes only the suitable alternates which are considered are at Seychelles, Malay, Colombo and the, the Singapore so now the operator needs to draw a circle corresponding to 60 minutes of flight time which in this case is 427 nautical miles around Nairobi, Seychelles, Malay, Colombo and the, the Singapore is it is clearly visible that these circles do not overlap so an aircraft which are at this particular place will take more than 60 minutes to come back to Nairobi or on more than 60 minutes to divert to Seychelles in this case the operator needs to apply for the EDTO operations after having got the certification for the EDTO then another circle will be drawn using the maximum diversion distance maximum diversion distance is that distance which can be flown within 90 minutes of maximum diversion time or 120 minutes of maximum diversion time the larger circle which is drawn in the red color is that circle with the radius of 630 miles from nairobi Seychelles, malay colombo and singapore it is visible in this particular diagram that the red circle overlaps each other so the aircraft can fly from nairobi to singapore in this particular route so now this particular route will be known as the edto route this area which are encircled in the red color circle which was drawn using the maximum diversion time this area is known as the area of operation of that particular edto flight the significance of this area of operation is that come what may the aircraft has to stay within this particular area of operation the aircraft can never go out of the area of operation however if that aircraft is within the area of operation depending upon the in-flight situations the captain of the aircraft may change the planned flight level the planned speed schedule or the time for example the planned speed schedule was vmo mmo and the aircraft after having diverted to a suitable alternate suffers severe turbulence in this case the captain of the aircraft has to reduce the aircraft speed to the turbulence speed which is much lower than the vmo mmo in this case the time to divert to that particular suitable alternate may be more than the authorized time or the certified time of 90 minutes or 120 minutes this is allowed by the regulator now let us see what happens when the aircraft flies from Nairobi to Singapore. Kindly follow my mouse please. The aircraft gets airborne from Nairobi. As it continues to fly, it is going to cross the first circle which is, was drawn using a distance corresponding to 60 minutes of flight time. From where the aircraft is going to commence the EDTO segment because it is going beyond the 60 minutes of threshold time so therefore this point is known as the EDTO entry point which in short is written as EEP since it is happening for the first time in this particular route it is designated by the EEP1 the aircraft further flies from this particular place and now re-enters the green circle which was drawn using a distance corresponding to 60 minutes of flight time from Seychelles. at this point of time the aircraft will enter into the normal flight and exit the edto flight so it is known as the edto exit point one if the aircraft continues to fly further it is going to go out 
of the green circle once again and the re-enter into the EDTO flight. It is the EDTO entry point 2 because it happens for the second time in this route. Now the aircraft continues to fly and it enters the green circle which was drawn using 60 minutes of flight time from Malay. At this point of time he is operation is under normal operation therefore it is the EDTO exit point and the, it is EDTO exit point 2. Now when the aircraft once again crosses this green circle it is going to enter the EDTO flight once again so it is the EDTO entry point 3 and the, the last one being EDTO exit point number 3. So here in this case, this is the EEP1, EXP1, the entire segment, the segment which is in between EEP1 and the EEP2 is what we call it as the EDTO segment 1 and the, between the EEP2 and the EXP2 is the EDTO segment 2 and the EEP3 and the EXP3 is the EDTO segment 3. However, having said that, some of the airliners or depending upon the airliners it may consider the flight segment from first point on which the aircraft enter into the EDTO segment the EEP and the, up to the last point where the aircraft exits the EDTO this entire segment may be considered as a EDTO segment that depends upon the airliner. So with this we will uh, finish the class for today in the next class we will talk about the planning considerations in terms of the fuel and the time to divert to a suitable alternate. Thank you for watching. You can drop your questions and uh, also if you want me to cover any topic, you can send it on the comment box. And if you like this video, kindly subscribe and share so that it gives a motivation to me also. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.